thank you so much for clicking this video All right and yeah this is what who we're gonna be making we're gonna be making this basic low fast the basic low fast is i will be showing you from the beginning to the end point of like to see the basic and uh, break down steps of how this can be achieved then watch this video the first thing we're going to be doing here is to achieve this pattern out to achieve the pattern the first thing it has to be imagined after after imagining it has to be sketched out the sketching out is just for you to correct some section of it to let you understand okay yeah this is what i'm imagining i've, I've sketched it and this is how it's going to be if there's any need for any correction you correct it before trying to transform it okay so then move to transforming transform is just to move it away from sketching which it is to a ready to use pattern i have some couple of video on my platform that explains how you how to achieve pattern to have to draft to transform to make it ready to use how to restore and store your pattern in a way that whenever you need it later after this project you can go there back to achieve it so now so well you just you just check uh like the channel up you definitely search video in here so back to this particular project that we are doing uh the front part was disconnected for first and the reason is that the both parts are quite different this was disconnected because of the uniqueness of the design though there are different ways at which you can use in achieving pattern one thing i've let, I've let you understand is that there's different way and different method at which you can use in achieving your pattern you can get to see another or uh, under crafter do it in a different way but this is just the way i've chose to do my on this project i've done it in a different way but this is the particular way i've just to chose to do this so if you've not seen this just add this to one of your list of how you can get your uh, pattern achieved so now the front will have been achieved the front will slid and another flat base for the side of it to uh, be placed accordingly with the dive of it so that is why the front part was laid on it so now remember this project um if we can don't really understand it this project comes in three portion the front the back uh and the side part of it so it's very important to whenever you're cutting your pattern to make detail uh alignment of it so every portion that is going to be aligned that's going to be stitched on it it should be shown on the pattern straight up so that is why the cut in the other ones show was necessary it's very very nice to call it so whenever you, it, you mark on the letter every detail of it shows one so moving forward they will from this we're going to work on the back so there's nothing so much to do on pattern like that but as i told you is a very very important knowledge every crafter must have because this will determine the outcome of the project no matter how excellent your material is if your leather is if your pattern is bad your outcome is going to be will not really look like what you really want it to be so this is the pattern i can see each section of it in more and more details so now moving forward the next thing we're going to do is not pick the project material we'll be using you don't have to use any material for this project but for this in case of what my on my own case what we do in here was that we use a leather and a velvet okay velvet for the body and then the uh leather the matte leather for the front side of it so now the what we now to do is apart from you cutting your pattern another thing you have to take note that you need to understand is how to manage usage how to manage your leather it's very 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 important look at the way i'm trying to just trying to arrange the pattern arrange the mark it out in a way that it can go in a way that it can really 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 work in very very so it's very very easy so that is just it so moving away from this the next thing you need to do right now is that you just need to continue cutting it yes and yeah what i will say in here is that you can decide to use any tools for this project i'm using scissors to cut this house but you can say to use 
knife, be all depends on the tools you are comfortable with. Any tools you are comfortable with is what I recommend you use. Okay, moving forward in this project, they have we use velvet, we are using leather again on this project. So forward moving. Moving. So the velvet we are using is a fabric material, and the gum that is using gumming this together is in a liquid format. And the gum, the gum we are using is in a liquid format. The, the velvet is in a fabric, and away from the away from the the material, it has a tendency ability to absorb liquid. So in the process of you applying gum, the liquid can penetrate through the velvet. So what we need to do in here is to tactically apply the glue to it. We tactically apply the glue to it gently for it not to penetrate. So it's been applied. The next thing to do is go and stick it to our leather. Yes, we are using velvet, we are using fabric to get this out, but it's most important to enhance your fabric with another form of leather. So in this project, I'm enhancing this fabric with a pure animal leather. The reason is that so it can go thicker, so it can be a bit thicker, and then not just thicker, so it can be very, very easy for me to stretch well on the last. So, build up. Make sure it's balanced very, very, which I have made this very balanced very, very well. I've made it no, no wrinkle anywhere. So no screws leather in anywhere. So after I've achieved that, the next thing to do is move forward to start marking this out. Remember the management thing which I said you have to learn how to manage your material in a way that it's the overall cost of the production will not be so so high. Then move forward to stitch it. Big pattern, not stitching, cutting it out. So you don't need to cut it out. Any tools you are comfortable with, you don't need to cut it out. So once it's out now, the front, the uh, the back is out. The next is then go to the post to the assembly part of whereby we then need to. Take the front and the uh, and the side part of it to arrange together. Mind you, all this section that was marked out during pattern drafting is what we will be using to align the front, the upper layer on it right now. So apply the gum and then drop it on it. Okay, so the, after we've been able to apply gum, we can wait for our gum to dry. Then we then move to getting it fixed right now you can see get it fixed this is being easy because i've been already marked the portion at which is going to lap on right on the uh, pattern that is why i told you earlier that it's very very important for your pattern to be well detailed when we are cutting down so i again for a good understanding of pattern uh drafting take your time uh dive into my youtube channel check it out i uh, have videos of how to make patterns pattern i com continue to emphasize on it that is very very important for every crafter to have a good understanding of pattern making so go in there check my videos out uh, to watch it and then you can also check for other creators um material to on pattern because pattern is very 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 important so if you're the first time on my channel seeing this video please i'm trying to you early and what i do is i show basic tips tips that will help you to be a better crafter better shoemaker better leather works uh, to be a master craft and your uh, 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 and, uh, in this level phase. So now moving forward, now I will if I go please don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and while you subscribe, 
eat the notification bell. So the essence of you eating the notification bell is so you can see all the updates of of my video when I also want to upload another one come and uh next week. So it's a weekly upload. So when I upload another one, you get to see it. So moving forward from there now, the upper has been fixed. I joined together. Now it's uh, the inner layer and the upper layer has been glued together. I think this point uh, I I skipped uh the stitching the sewing section of this was skipped and it was not intentionally skipped the recording was bad i clicked on the video i thought i was recording but i wasn't recording so what you do is i'm too sorry uh, for skipping this section it was just uh, uh an error in there so after the point which i've stitched that we've stitched that in the Apply gum to make the to make the bands drop down. I think that will be the last thing I was teaching. I'm so so sorry for that. That was not an intentional one. That was just a thing that thought my the camera was recording where when it wasn't recording. So I I cannot really uh capture that scene in there. So now at this point, the last thing they need to do is to then go around and stitch it all around. So all my stitching section in there was omitted so so sorry about that so and for a good understanding of how to run your stitching and do first like this i have something similar like this on my platform again please take your time to check in there and see how how this some um, stitching a bit an idea which lets you, you with that you should understand how you can do your stitching so i'll listen i'm putting an accessories you can say to put accessories you can say not to put accessories but for this project there's an accessory that is being attached to it so when they attach as accessory has been attached to it the next phase now is to then move and then uh, do your final uh, assembly close up so the final thing is then to put your back sleeve in here you have a fiber back sleeve you have a uh, paper back sleeve you have a wax back sleeve in here I'm using the paper or uh, the art paper back step so once the back step is fixed then i then move forward to start lasting it now last thing is that process i teach you from your shoe to shape and size the shape the, the, the earlier it the, the upper was not in shape but now it's gradually getting going in shape the upper is gradually forming shape gradually gradually so what we need to do at this point is to continue forming it so to form this i will be using the head of using the elastin plier that is a tool that is very very important for a crafter to have if you think lasting issue because you might not be able to use your bare hand to do yes you can use your uh bare hand to last issue but you need to protect your hands you need to be safe when you when you're working and then moreover you need to the lasting player helps you to pull very very well. so you need your lasting player to pull all around make sure everything balance to size balance to shape shape up very well and you're doing this again with the use of the nails you need the nail to tack it around after you tack it around the essence of the nail is just to hold it before you can use your apply your glue round so once the nail has hold it you apply your glue round then once the glue dry you will then do your uh, cement it the the nail is holding it for it not to lose out later that is what the nail is so at the time we've all do apply our gum the gum can can let the gum hold on to another ten to five minutes before it's dry it depends on the mode, mode of the, the make of the gum you are using uh some can within five minutes it's dry but the one i'm using i have to leave it for under 10 minutes for it to dry so after now after i've lived it for dry to dry a bit the next thing is to go and start doing the front stiff now there's two ways at which I can attach my front stiff. I can attach it when I'm doing the close up, when I'm attaching the back stiff, attach it together, and I can set to attach it in between the uh, last thing. So, that which I'm doing right now, this is a wax stiff now, which is activated by it. After I activate it, pound it, and then apply gum to the, all the body of the upper itself to then eventually close down. Don't forget if you have just coming across my project one my uh, uh, video 
first time, please I like to subscribe. Please, it has shown that uh, tons of people watch my video without not subscribing. And but uh, please, uh, the first people that watch are mostly visitors. But so my visitor visiting here, I want you to please subscribe and hit the notification bell so you'll be notified when I have some video like this again on the platform. So your plasma player, you use it to clip all the edges all around. You can see the way it's been clipping the edges one after the other. Then so. The next phase after this has been there. The next thing is to then put the upper on the sole. The sole that we use in here is the pre-model sole. We'll be using the pre-model sole here. So then you can use a uh, a good year, a good year water sole on it. You can decide to use a uh, pre-model sole. You can use you can construct a sole for it. But in here and use the pre-model sole, a rubber pre-model sole. What you need to do is to brush the surface of this rubber and brush the surface of the shoe, the portion at which the sole is going to cover. Then you apply gum and leave for another some minutes and then close it off. So thank you so much for joining me to watch this to this time. I'm honored to have you. Thank you so much and don't forget subscribe, hit the notification bell and I look forward to have you in my subsequent upload. I mean myself Sunday. All right, from Octazi School of Filmmaking in Lagos, Nigeria. Bye for now. I'm sure you've learned something from this. Let's spread the love. Share, keep sharing to friends.